All right, Mike here on Guns, Cars, and Digits. Got the dash put together. We are made out of 24 gauge uh, steel. I silicon bronze brazed the two pieces together, sanded it down to kind of an almost mirror finish, and covered it with Oxfo Blue gun blowing. We're on our rear disc brakes and torque thrust twos, 17 by 8, 245, 65, 17s. I've got long tube headers on now. So these are uh, Headman headers for like a 60s Chevy. Uh, these are ceramic inch and 7 eighths long tubes. Hooker VR304 mufflers. These are a lot like Borla S types. And everything is TIG welded by me. These are my most recent welds right here. So not bad. These are basic V bands right here. Um, these over here, if the camera would focus. These are Marmon flanges, all on the V band. When you look at the setup from afar, you can kind of see what's up. This is why you go with a manual transmission. You have a lot more room between the headers and the transmission. If this was a, a 4L60, You'd have the valve body that comes out to almost touching the headers. But right now it's nothing but uh, it's nothing but stainless porn now. Exhaust ain't even hot yet. Um You'll notice that the uh, Focus, there we go. You'll notice that the oil pan is higher up than the cross member. So this setup has a lot of ground clearance. Uh, I am using the BRP cross member for this. Ugh. Uh. So yeah, I'm running a manual belt tensioner here uh, you tighten it once when you put the belt on you drive it for uh, a couple weeks and then give it another go and it's been straight like that since uh, since last December or, or January so yeah those setups are pretty sweet they stay pretty stable I got rid of the stock fuse blocks and I went with uh, an Eaton Busman 10 circuit rear fed fuse and relay module so all you really need is the uh, the right set of wire crimpers and you got your relay power and your clean power on this side you got your accessory and dirty power on that side because you have two uh, you have two um, two buses so you have a toy this side has its own 12 volt wire and so does this side, 100 amps a side. Uh, good stuff. Way cleaner than these factory boxes where you can't even reach the back. Uh, if there's only one thing I could do different, it would be to uh, to replace this with a Deutsch connector and I'll probably eventually do that um, again keep in mind I have that steel plate on the firewall and then I have an additional bolt back here this is what enables me to 
to triangulate the clutch pedal like that. If you don't make yourself a triangulated bracket, don't forget you're gonna you'll tear a hole in your firewall and then your clutch will go to the floor because the firewall flexes instead of the clutch getting pushed. Um, you'll notice that my uh, my dash here is very simple. It looks like a like a spaghetti wire setup, but it's actually not. Um, though these are all ground wires. Uh, that's kind of what enables you to make your own harness without catching the car on fire. Uh, I haven't hooked up the the uh, the reverse solenoid or the uh, the windshield wipers, and then we've got our. Uh, You know, we've got our signals. I've got a hella amber incandescent low beams, and then I have Supernova V4 amber high beams inside IPCW housings. That's been like a huge headlight upgrade for me. Uh, Sounds good. That's all that matters.